Hey everybody, it's Brian. I uh, finally got a chance to finish off printing the MK735. I started printing, I was checking an Octoprint the other day. The first object that I printed was about five weeks ago, and ever since I've been printing pretty much non-stop. It slowed down here in, in recent the recent two weeks. But uh, yeah, for the last month I've been I've been non-stop printing objects. The longest print of all of the objects in the case took two days, over just over two days to print, and there were there were several objects that took over 24 hours, and many that took over 12 hours on my Prusa i3 Mark III. Um, thanks to the incredible documentation that Toby wrote, I printed all of those things successful on the first try nearly every single time. Uh, the objects that I had to reprint were because I mangled them myself and not because the printer the print failed at all, which is, in my experience with 3D printing, pretty remarkable. Um, I think that's a testament to both the excellent documentation that Toby created for the MK735 and then also to the quality of the Prusa i3 Mark III. Uh, it was it was a lot of work to get this to get this made, to get it printed, to get it put together to assemble it and then to deal with the frustration of being hasty in my assembly and ruining the drive chamber and power supply chamber and having to do another 100 hours of 3D printing just to get back to the point where I could finish the assembly. But now that it's all done, I'm, I'm really ecstatic. Um, it's, it's really exciting. I've ordered some new some new parts, uh, new ATX power supply, and uh, an upgraded SFP Plus Mellanox Connect, Connect X3 NIC for, for this, since my old uh, inexpensive NIC is a full height PCIe card, and the case only supports uh, a half height PCIe. Uh, I love that I was able to put my face on the front of the on the front of the case, modify it myself. Uh, Pat and I are working on that Uber Lights project, and I fully intend to install it somewhere down here. I'm real excited about that. I'll wind up printing a whole new a whole new front grill when that when that comes around. Uh, the design of the case is still uh, remarkable. I think it. I mean, I think it's artistic. I don't. I don't have a better word for it. That's the best. That's the best way to describe it. Um, it. It came together, everything fits real nice. It's it's really quite fantastic. I've got a couple time-lapse videos that I made. I took time-lapse photos of all of the prints of the 3D objects, and then also a time-lapse of my, my good assembly, not the one that went wrong. Uh, there's a clip in my blog, in a, an animated GIF of when the wheels really came off on that. Down in the description, you'll find links to the blog that I wrote about printing and assembling my own MK735. You'll also find a link to my original review of the MK735 that Toby sent me. One of the things that I asked myself at the end of it was, was all the time that I spent in printing and assembling and reprinting and reassembling, and I mean, even the writing of the blog, was all of, was all of that worth it? And I think the question, the answer to that question is absolutely yes. I, I enjoyed it. I'm really proud of what I've managed to create and I, I couldn't be happier with it. Uh, what do you guys think? If you had easy access to a 3D printer or thinking about getting a 3D printer, is this the kind of project that you want to tackle? Uh, let me know in the comments below and please don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with all your friends. Thanks. Thank you.